So in this video I'll show some of the design difficulties uh, that the uh, Junkyard Mini Del Deltic will uh, pose. Uh, see I got, once again I'll just review, so the the baby Deltic would be a nine cylinder uh, two stroke a supercharged engine composing of uh, three uh, 60 degree V6 blocks. So I have the one V6 block here and then there'd be another one up there and another one over there and they would be uh, fastened together with uh, three uh, combustion chamber I guess heads in effect uh, with the spark plugs coming out the sides uh, then you also have to have a supercharger to feed it air so I've got a, a V671 uh, Detroit diesel supercharger here just for uh, uh, example, uh, you'd probably need something about that big though because uh, if you use three, this is a 3.4 liter uh, GM V6, if you use three of those you're going to have uh, 10.2 liters or uh, 600 cubic inch. So it's not going to be a small engine, plus it's a two stroke so it's it's in effect like a 1200 cubic inch four stroke engine. So uh, there are certain uh, difficulties. Uh, first thing, you have to uh, fasten the three uh, crankshafts together. I'd use probably, uh, I don't know, I got a number 40 chain sprocket there. You probably go bigger than that. I don't know what the next number is, 60 or something. But uh, and then to add to the difficulties, the uh, the top two crankshafts rotate the same direction, and the bottom one rotates the opposite direction. So you'd have to have, uh, you know chains would come around the top two and then down around an idler and then spin this one the opposite direction. So that's one uh, added complication. And then also you have to have a drive going over to your uh, supercharger. Now there's a, another uh, aspect to it here. Uh, you, uh, you get into some interesting things with uh, the pistons. Now I suspect that the V6 uses, I guess they're called uh, slipper pistons. Uh, what that means is, on the end here, we've got a, a full skirt piston. I guess instead of a tractor, this thing's an old fossil. It's a steel piston. The the piston skirt is uh, the full, and then you compare the opposite end of the spectrum with this uh, 327 Chev piston here. You see your 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 power thrust side uh, has full skirt, but then the, where the crank pin go or piston pin goes in, it isn't. So. And in between here, I got some other pistons. This one's, you know, part way there, and then this have uh, a 440. It's, you know, uh, yeah, part way there. But 327 seems to be the kind of the for this application the worst one of the bunch. And the problem that creates is, as I've shown here, you got uh, what I've shown is three, uh, say, inlet ports hold holes drilled in the block. And when the piston's at the top, uh, see, as I shown here. The, the hole will be uncovered and let your uh, supercharger uh, air uh, flow into the crankcase so you'll lose boost pressure into the crankcase uh, whereas if you had pistons like this that wouldn't take place so uh, that's uh, one difficulty now I haven't pulled this V6 apart so I don't know what the pistons look like but I suspect uh, they are probably something like this uh, 327 piston here so that's one uh, design difficulty Got a uh, you know work around and there's many others you have to have an ignition system and a fuel system etc but uh, I don't think it's anything that's uh, insurmountable you know it just uh, all takes time and and uh, designing around it and that so anyway just uh, wanted to show you some of the technical difficulties involved there so have a good one